Well, we wanted to gather together emerging leaders from the five dioceses that have found themselves linked together across four continents. Uh, initially, uh, Leicester Diocese has been working with the Diocese of Trichy in India and also two Tanzanian dioceses, uh, neighboring dioceses of Kitato and Mount Kilimanjaro. But as also Kitato is linked to an American diocese, we invited the Americans to the party. And uh, so we thought uh, having the emerging leaders from all five dioceses, including Leicester Diocese, on an equal basis with equal representation here in Leicester uh, would be an opportunity to grow those leaders for the future. To my diocese back home in Tanzania, I would like to come with the details of the link between our diocese, Diocese of Mount Kilimanjaro, I mean, uh, we started with the vision of uh, our bishops, uh, Bishop Stanley of Mount Kilimanjaro and other bishops from the United States of America and here in the UK and also in India. Uh, so something is happening. So what I would like to take from here to my church is also to go down to think about the growth of the church uh, spiritually, uh, physically, mentally, with education, health and uh, also the word of God. But down, down, down to the grass level, to the children, to the youth, to the mothers, I mean the women, to the men, and then to the clergy, up to the bishop. So I like it. Yeah. The main thing that I want to take back to Wyoming is, is to become a leader and to try to bring up the congregations to be a leader also. To try to get them involved and, and to step out into the world and, and quit thinking about just their own private places where they grow up or where their kids are growing up, but to step out into the world and to help all of, all of God's people. To, to give them encourage in order to get uh, good leadership, that is very important. Communication is always a real challenge when you bring together people from different places. So to bring together people from four continents has been a very exciting experience in terms of uh, learning to communicate better, clearer um, and, uh, and differently so that everyone actually is able to understand and participate fully. A wonderful question. I like it. Or oh, it's a two-way traffic, you know. When we came here, uh, we didn't come here as empty shells. Well, our churches are crowded, and these churches are empty. I, when I see the empty churches, I see uh, as if my mother is uh, standing before me with the empty hands. So when I met the um, uh, youth council, uh, uh, I said, see, you are the handful of people we have. So I want to put, you, put a challenge before you that you go and whenever you speak with your friends, tell at least a word that in Jesus Christ there is peace. Another thing which we brought here is also to take care of the older people. Not to expose them, but in, in our, our culture, we have also to know and to make a follow-up of those people. Because when they were young, they were very active in the church. But sometimes we forget them when they come to 60s, you see? And then we excom these, this is These are people that I can say that there is a treasure to those people in the church. So that's another thing from Africa here to you. Okay, thank you. It does indeed have a practical on the ground impact. Uh, it, this sort of working, these sort of conversations um, have in, in many ways and in many places um, shaped how the church understands mission and how it engages in mission. Uh, it's a, a, a link so that things such as poverty, things such as climate change, such as gender issues, and uh, they, they become less theoretical and more personal because you put a face to it as people that you know and that you trust. Um, and that in turn has, has in, in many places shaped how, uh, how um, what sort of things the church does in response. 
we're seeing just happening organically, naturally, the connection between Tanzania and Trichy that wasn't happening before and is now happening with the, the bishops having met earlier this year and you know, participants here at the conference talking to one another. Um, and I, I've lost count of the number of times I've been told we must make sure people have contact details to keep in touch. And that's a, just a sign of the relationships that have been built. Oh, um, how much these guys smile and laugh. It's been brilliant. Um, and the power of prayer. Um, it was very moving to hear the Lord's Prayer spoken in so many different languages at the same time and you could just feel the prayer and it was the same for all of us so it transcended the language the differences the cultures that that was a very special moment i think some of the biggest learning points for us is is i be, i was under the belief that i knew what was going on in the world and as we sit down and discussed there were things that come up about the united states and about uh, about england that were not what I had thought either. So I guess I didn't have a real good grasp on what was going on in the world. How will you increase relationship with other people to get a good reader? Well, one of the most moving things for me was hearing about, we were looking at the passage where the woman with the blood loss, for, who'd had a blood loss for 12 years, touched Jesus's um, clothes and was healed and for me the highlight of it was hearing then back in Trichy how some of the women are treated especially uh, when they're menstruating and they're not allowed to cook meals and things like that and and I just was blown away really but actually how then in Jesus Christ those women are being saved from that saved from that shame and those pastors are doing an amazing job with that for me, the highlights um, have really been uh, the conversation and the interaction between people, seeing uh, groups of people from, you know, somebody from Tanzania, somebody from South India, someone from Leicester, just chatting comfortably, laughing, sharing stories of their faith, their place they live, their family, and being able to just be with each other in a way that is, ha everyone is saying, it's uh, it's challenging their faith, it's growing their faith, it's enjoyable, it's been it, uh, just a delight.